switching gears a little bit, and today we're talking about hockey skills and, and some great hockey skills camps that are available right here in York Region. We're pleased to welcome Jim Vitale. He's the president of Vital Hockey Skills. This business started back in 1996, and Jim, you have a long time history in the sport of hockey. Um, tell us about your approach to, to hockey skills and teaching kids um, basically some of the fundamentals of the game in terms of skills instead of just playing the game. Well, like any guy out there or any girl that runs a hockey school, like we've just been fortunate enough to be coached by some pretty decent people. Right. And uh, I was 14. I was lucky enough to meet a Ukrainian national coach who took interest in training me. And uh, I mean, one of the first experiences I had, he took my skates to the concrete and completely took every edge off the off the plate. And I was really? like, horrified. Like, what are you? <laughs> what are you doing? What a nightmare. Yeah. And uh, he just plainly said, he said, ice versus metal. Metal wins every time. And you need to learn how to push. You need to learn how to dig. And that was tough for a 14-year-old who thought he knew everything to, you know, come out of that. And there was a lot of drills I didn't understand at the time and were really abstract and things like that. But right. eventually what they were working on was a lot of the stabilizers and hockey postures that, that go into a hockey athleticism. And so I look at the two governing bodies that I think are the most successful for youth sports, being swimming and gymnastics. And mm -hmm. I, I look at what makes them so long-term. And I, I think it's because they have a curriculum-based approach, right? You can't go to the Thursday night session unless you pass what goes on in the Tuesday night session, oh, right? Okay. And you got to get your badges, you got to get your level. So we try to take that approach with Vital Hockey and make it so that kids have to graduate um, sessions in order to go on to the next ones. And there's, there's skill sets that they have to be able to accomplish. Have you created this curriculum or is this a set <clears throat> curriculum? that you've adapted how does it work I think a lot of it stems from what I learned yeah. from that Ukrainian team and, and over my time getting uh, a degree in kinesiology applying science to it understanding the biomechanics and things that go into uh, childhood development mm -hmm. uh, I think from there it just it just kind of came together do you find that kids think about hockey in a different way than adults do like do you have to kind of adjust your teaching so that it's it's kid friendly yeah and they can absorb it and they can enjoy it while they're learning right like every every level is different like yeah you, you can just go to an adult when you're when you're skating an adult session and say look this is your medicine you got to take it and the adults will be dedicated right but sure if, if kids don't see <laughs> that you care and kids don't see that it's fun eh. they're, they're not going to buy into what you're doing right, right. So you, you have to make it fun right and you have to take time to ask you know ask a lot of questions and let the kid express themselves right and so. when it comes to hockey skills what are I mean, what are some of the the most important skills that we should be teaching our our young hockey skaters? Well, I, I think in general it's athleticism, right? And I think that's the big, you know, one of the biggest problems that we're in such a rush to play games and score goals and teach systems. Like, you know, you walk into some of the house league rinks and you see half ice practices and they're working on face offs with kids that can barely stand up. Oh, okay. And I think it really is. It's as a coach sometimes it's boring because it's all repetition and it's mm -hmm. you know almost like road skills and math right you just got to be willing to sure. commit to it and uh, once you get that basis and once you get the body creating those neurological pathways then you can move to more uh, self-expression and creativity right but uh, I think a lot of people are in a rush to mm -hmm. skip over that repetition and that mm -hmm. kind of monotony that goes into creating that skating structure. Right? But once you've got that down, it must make the game even more fascinating for for anybody. It's one of the things I say to the kids all the time. When, when, It'll when, pay off. Yeah, like you're you're gonna have so much more fun playing hockey yeah. when when you can do some of these things, right? And you probably had that experience as well when you were working with the Ukrainian coach. Did you notice that once your your skills developed, hockey was a different a different game. Yeah, I just felt that there was nothing I, I, I couldn't do on the ice. Like literally like, you know, my, my blades could do anything they wanted on yeah. the ice. And uh, I remember there were practices an hour and a half at a time with like Daniel Zubris in the corner of the rink showing me crossovers. But I mean, for an hour and a half, the same wow. drill, right? And you'd be covered <laughs> in snow, you'd fall down and just throw yourself into it, right? So it, there's a dedication. Like you really have to buy in and want to do it, right? Because it's, it's not easy. You're thinking, I can't do another crossover. <laughs> yeah, it's like my ankles, my ankles hurt. When's this going to stop oh hurting? <laughs> but it all paid off. And so what ages do you start doing skills training with? Well, and when is the best age to get your kid enrolled? I think the best thing is to get them into learn to skate. Because I think learn to skate, they put the dinosaurs on the ice and go find the green ones. And sure. you kind of have that fun right off the start, enjoyable kind of experience. Because the, the biggest thing that kids don't like is that it hurts their ankles and it's cold. So course, yeah. well, if, if you do that in a fun environment, yeah. you don't think about it. Then after a few learn to skates, then we usually take them around six 
six okay. years of age, and I mean, we go all the way up to junior A and even NHL guys. You know, oh, I've nice. skated, uh, you know, quite a few, and in the summers and things like that, they drop in. So isn't that great? Yeah, it's it's a lot of, and when you get to that level, it's just a oh. lot of fun, right? It's just amazing what you do, and so. Yeah. In, in in vital hockey skills, you have many different components, right? Because you yeah. have people come to you, you can go to them. Yeah. How does it work and what kind of programs do you offer? So we have seasonal camps that yeah. are like two hours a day, kind of in and out, quick uh, eight hour a week uh, situations. And then we have full uh, full day camps in the summer in July and August, which uh, I think are our best camps because great. you know they're well rounded. And then we have um, just private lessons that we do all the time nice. and uh, team sessions teams bring us in to work on certain things and when you see a kid skating and you know you you watch him from the sidelines can can you instantly see what you would fix or what you would tweak yeah is it is it that e cut and dry after years after years of doing it yeah it, with it your just, experience yeah because it's all it's all patterning right it's like any any profession right when you kind of get to know scenarios right. you can diagnose really quick right and then you know you have your toolbox of what needs to be done right and i think that's what makes vital hockey so unique right yeah. it's just it's not a keep your busy camp a keep your kid busy camp it's not a skate around pylon kind of camp it's it's real teaching right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah get them ready for the big leagues uh, well, you know what? Get them ready for men's league, and then if the big leagues come knocking, men's league, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so yeah. So March break is also a busy time. You are seeing. Yeah. I mean, people love enrolling in your March break camp yeah. because this is one week where they can just get their kids involved. That's yeah, eight hours. It's perfect. So yeah. what is happening for March break at Vital Hockey Skills? Uh, we we got three sessions. We got a beginner session from nine to eleven at the Vaughn okay. Sports Village. Uh, eleven to one is more of an intermediate uh, session for the kids that graduate the first one, and then uh, one to three is more of the upbeat. Triple A kind of uh, nice. elite uh, session with the older guys. So, do you have a team of coaches that help you? Yeah, we have a few guys yeah. that, that stop in, and they're all you know great teachers, and I make sure that they're all you know committed to giving feedback and, and, right. and things like that, right? So, and yeah. and at the end of the day, I mean, you've been doing this for for quite a while. Years, I think. Yeah, this is. How yeah. has it been a rewarding experience for you? I mean, you it, it obviously has, are like, passionate about it. Yeah, like when you got guys come back like Mike Camilleri and things like that and, and PK Suvan and these kind of guys and you see them in the rinks and wow. they, they kind of, you know, wink at you and say, hey, I remember those days, right? And, you trained those guys? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like it's, well, there, there's a long list. Wow, right? but Jim, you should have been name dropping. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't do it, but I, in all honesty, like That's when you see great. the older guys, because you can't take responsibility, right? Everyone's, right. everyone's trained those guys, right? But it's right, great right, when, right. You, when you have a relationship and they come back and, and thank you. It's nice, right? That's great. You know you're, you're doing something right. Thank you so yeah. much, Jim. And uh, the website, everybody, is vitalhockeyskills.com for more on Vital Hockey Skills. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Thank you so much to Jim Vitale. He's the president of Vital Hockey Skills. Great to meet him. Uh, we've been talking for a long time about this segment, and it's always great to talk about hockey. Obviously, um, I don't know too much about hockey, but it's nice to meet a real professional who really focuses on, on skills training. I mean, obviously, the game is important and, and playing the game, but the skills that you need to learn to play the game are probably the most important thing so uh, for more details again you can go to the website everybody vitalhockeyskills.com very accessible they're in Vaughn and again he said they start at age six so six right up to uh, to some of the most advanced hockey players so great job Jim thank you so much